Hello, this is Eric Chang, Director of Photography at Lytro. Today I'm going to show you how to take a refocusable portrait. I'm here with my friends and artists Cozy and Dan at their studio in Los Angeles. And I'm going to take a picture here of Dan with their cat, Amichan. So uh, I'm about three feet from Dan, and uh, what I'm going to do is just zoom in here until Dan starts to blur. And when he blurs just a little bit, I'll take a picture. And uh, that blur makes it so we can refocus the picture after the fact. Take another picture, and I, if I want, I can back up and zoom in a little more. Again, there's that nice blur in the foreground, which makes for good refocus. If there's no blur in the picture, there's nothing to refocus. In everyday mode, if I zoom in all the way, the camera is at 3.5x. And at 3.5x, the closest refocusable object is about five to six feet away. So right now, Dan is about five to six feet away. You can see there's a decent amount of blur on the LCD. Uh, and this is the ideal distance for a portrait shot in everyday mode, zoomed all the way in. If I zoom out, you'll see I get more in the frame, but there's no longer much blur in the frame. So if I were to take a picture zoomed out much further, I would have to get a little bit closer until Dan starts to blur again. Take another shot. And if I wanted a portrait of Amichan here, I could zoom all the way out and get really close. And in the background, you can see Cozy there wearing her trademark zebra head. Brand new trademark. Brand new trademark. Trademark as of now. On the Lytro desktop application and on the web, these portraits of Cozy and Dan show a lot of refocus between Amichan the cat, Dan, and Cozy, who's in the background. It's actually fairly easy to get a good refocusable living portrait of a person if you're within six feet of them. Just use the camera in everyday mode and zoom in until the person starts to blur on the LCD. Then, without zooming in anymore, recompose your shot opportunistically to include an interesting background element. This is one of the most common ways I use the Lytro camera. Give it a try and share your images with us on our Facebook page or at Lytro on Twitter. Happy shooting!